Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania's office just released sudden unexpected announcement today nobody saw coming. Since Melania Trump has returned from the hospital, she's remained mostly out of sight and relatively quiet during her home recovery time. The privacy has been important to her progress and she's happy to be back with her family. Now, four days since returning to the White House, her office has released a sudden unexpected announcement on her behalf that's taking the country by complete surprise. There's been no shortage of insults, accusations, and attacks on our incredible first lady. Even though her hospital stay liberals didn't give it a break. In fact, it gave them more material to turn up the insults, as we saw during that week she was out. However, now, she's come under scrutiny once again for a new reason that's required an immediate response from her spokesperson. This has since resulted in the most unlikely event that's difficult to believe. The liberal left has a very difficult time believing that a woman can be both incredibly beautiful and intelligent. Melania is both of these things and also exceptionally articulate. When she gives a speech, she's taunted by leftists for either her accent or for allegedly plagiarizing a speech she copied from the Obamas. The assertion seems to be that she's not as good as the former first lady, so she just repeats what they did to claim as her own. However, this latest accusation has come up a couple times, but the latest attack on her for this was a little different and even more depraved. U.S. Weekly reports. Melania Trump is facing a second bout of plagiarism claims. After announcing her new children-focused campaign, Be Best, on Monday, May 7, the First Lady was accused of pulling the text and graphics in the initiative's promotional booklet from one published under former President Barack Obama's administration. Trump's White House communications director, Stephanie Grisham, responded in a statement released via Twitter on Tuesday, May 8. Yesterday, First Lady Melania Trump unveiled Be Best her initiative meant to support children and the many issues they're facing today. After giving a strong speech that was met with a standing ovation and positive feedback, the focus from opposition media has been on an educational booklet, Talking with Kids About Being Online, produced by the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, in 2009, Grisham began. Mrs. Trump agreed to add Be Best Branding and distribute the booklet in an effort to use her platform to amplify the positive message within, the statement continued. As she said in yesterday's speech, she is going to use Be Best to promote people and organizations to encourage conversation and replication, and helping the FTC distribute this booklet is just one small example. Grisham went on to slam the baseless accusations made about the former model in her initiative. Our office will continue to focus on helping children and I encourage members of the media to attempt to be best in their own professions and focus on some of the children and programs Mrs. Trump highlighted in her remarks yesterday, the statement concluded. The claims were in fact so baseless that even the super-liberal fact-checking site, Snopes, couldn't even deny it. This remarkable moment of truth and validation from the seemingly biased site was certainly not something anyone saw coming. According to Snopes, the claim was as follows, Melania Trump plagiarized a document from the Federal Trade Commission for her Be Best campaign. After fact-checking it, this is what Snopes concluded. What's true? A document published by the FTC in 2014 was briefly presented on the White House website as a pamphlet by by First Lady Melania Trump and the Federal Trade Commission. What's false? Melania Trump did not claim she had written the pamphlet herself, and she contributed an introduction to a slightly revised version of the booklet. The FTC was always credited for the creation of the booklet and supported its inclusion in the First Lady's Be Best campaign. It's ironic when even the most liberal of sources who have been frequently accused of making conservatives and conservatives' news stories look bad for their own gain, can't even twist this claim to find truth in it. What also seems evident in this instance is that leftist detractors will stop at nothing to demolish the reputation of our first lady and the current president. They will either lie or otherwise misrepresent the truth and expect not to be questioned or called out for it because they feel they are above their own rules. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.